Yo, look, today I'm gonna be doing something a little different. Y'all don't know, I make custom vocal presets. I also mix people's songs as well. But I'm gonna basically walk y'all through how I would make a Rich and Miri type vocal preset. Appreciate RJ, he wanted himself a custom vocal preset. So I'm basically gonna show y'all, you feel me, how I be doing that. And uh, you know, just just before we get into this as well, you know, I recently went through a went through a death, so I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of you know, kind of going through that, but you know, life goes on. You feel me? It is what it is. Uh, you hear me? With that being said, bro, we're just gonna push through it. Keep on going, man. As I said, we are gonna be making a custom vocal preset. So one of my, the first things that I like to do is I like to grab this preset right here when I'm making people's custom vocal preset. If they want like a more traditional underground rapper or like a more traditional industry sounding artist, I get, I put my instant clean vocal preset on there because this preset is stock. And since it's stock, it's gonna get me the plugins that I need now, what are the plugins that you need? I'll tell you just like this. You're gonna need, there's gonna be like four essential plugins that you're gonna put in your presets, all right? You're gonna put your EQ, your compressor. As a matter of fact, let's just drag it in the FL and we'll go, we'll go about it that way. The preset is gonna be linked in the description though. Let's play the raw that we working with. Ha, 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 ha. Off rip, y'all hear some of that dead noise that's in the yeah, background? Yeah, yeah. Lay back, nigga, double off. A lot of times, people let some of that dead noise trip, or some of the shows y'all watching in the background creep into y'all mics and stuff. And nature, that can help. I'm telling you, I'm gonna be honest, bro. Even them little things can help dirty up your audio. Like people, the people that say I want as clean the vocals as I could possibly get. If you want as clean as vocals that you could possibly get, the I already, I had to do a lot of work to keep myself clean. Cause as you can see, like look at my walls in the background. I have no, the most acoustic treatment I usually have is this right here. Whoa. And that's my microphone ball. All right. So if you don't got that much acoustic treatment, bro. You need to be doing what you can to, to preserve what you got. And that is, helps to start with this. Let's go ahead and load the clean vocal preset up right quick. We're gonna do clean instantly, right? Boom. I'm gonna put the vocals up in there. Hey, yo, look, say I wanna get rid of some uh, background noise, right? What am I gonna do? The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my noise gate. What am I gonna use for my noise gate? I'm gonna use the plugin Fruity Limiter. So look, the plugin that I always use for my noise gate is Fruity Limiter because you're gonna see two on mine. I didn't mean to make two, but Fruity Limiter comes with the noise gate option. I usually click it on there. And to get it as clear as possible, let's go ahead and turn all of these other effects off first and foremost. Here with the limiter now. Ha, 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 we still ha, somewhere hear some of that ha, background noise, but definitely ha, not as much. Ha, Let's go. Yeah, ahead. We could yeah, push it. Yeah. Lay back, nigga, double off for the whip. Ha, 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 ha. I've been on a road, sipping on that red. Now, the reason why I said that he wanted to, to sound like Richard Miri is I'll read the email. Uh, these are my raw vocals. I want a similar sound to Richard Miri. These are the songs he sent me. Um, Poppin', Coding Crazy, Forza Freestyle, Ain't Nothing, things of that nature. So, Richard Miri has a pretty j similar, like, to Jace, only I think his voice is a little bit more raspy. So, it's gonna be pretty easy to do. Let me light this bitch up real quick. But yeah, that is us. Now we have our limiting on there. So, what's the next thing I'm gonna do? You can either do, the next thing you're gonna wanna do what your preset is after you get some limit on there you're going to want to add some <clears throat> some dynamics to it so you want to add a compressor or you can either get straight into your compression or you can get into your eq either way it really doesn't matter it's up to you i usually get into the eqs you feel me look with rappers like jace and richard miri and things of that nature they have a more polished sound and mix their vocals tend to sit more on top of the beat so to make my vocals sit more on top of the beat what am i going to do I'm going to add more of a high presence as well as a mid presence because with the lows, the lows are gonna add some muddiness. So if I add too much mud, too much mud to it, it's going to sink. It's going to sink into the beat. 
it's going to sink into the mix so i'm just going to have my vocal sit more clean and out front and so that's what i'm about to go ahead and work on inside of the eq right quick Let my nigga want to see me dead. Uh, red bone with a red key. Niggas. So next up, we're going to add a little bit of compression into this. If you ask me, I think the compression is what adds the grit or the grind to the vocals. Um, I think that the EQ is basically you building the structure of it. You know, the, the bones. And I think that the compressor is essentially the skin. You know, it's basically what people... I think people are hearing the compression more than they're hearing the the EQ to be honest with you. Did I go for school for any of this? No. But hey, guess what? I fucked around, I found out. I'm finding out, man. I don't know what to tell you. Wada wada bang bang. Uh, 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 huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 so this is what I just made so far. Uh, this is just with EQ and compression uh, and noise gate. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know if I dropped. I've made a whole video about compression. I don't know if I dropped that video or not. But um, if I didn't, I guess I just go over it as if I didn't. Um, with the ratio, the ratio is basically once it hits four decimals, my sound will activate. That's essentially what the ratio means. The type, I chose vintage because vintage is like a more, it's louder than soft. Soft is what I typically use because to be honest, I like my vocals to have a softer feel compared to the beat. But um, with this, we want a more loud and um out front feel vintage does that pretty good so like i'll let you hear the difference uh, if i had it on soft uh, 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 now here comes uh, vintage. Uh, uh, yeah, it's noticeably yeah, louder yeah. Lay back, nigga, double lie for the whip. Huh, huh. essentially after you do the compression in the eq what you're going to want to do is add a little bit of saturation so for saturation i usually use um fresh air and sound goodizer uh with an artist like richie miri and those people of course you're gonna use c usually because c usually gives you the most clear sound out of the vocals um so i i did those i threw those up on there and then that's when i added the wetness which is you know your reverb and your delay uh but i want to go ahead and show you guys this last thing um and i touched on and I touched on this in my Jace, my how to do no auto like Jace video. You can watch it right here if you haven't seen it. Um, doing things like this, as you guys can see right here, I tweak the EQ bands. Um, you're gonna wanna do stuff like that because that can help build character for the vocals as well. Think of it as like another EQ. All right, this is where like, it really can start changing affecting this is where you really start affecting the vocal like i sw i promise y'all it will start sounding different as well so that's just a little bit of sauce you feel me just mess around with it but that's essentially how i make how i would make a rich and Mary type vocal preset if you want your own custom vocal preset go ahead and click the link down in the description below and if you like how this preset started you can go ahead and head over to sadboyfari.gumroad.com and get yourself the instant clean vocal preset. It's gonna be linked in the description below. But look, I'm gonna let y'all hear how I sound with the preset as well. It's vocals out of here. Hey, y'all about to hear me with latency, so don't, so don't complain. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't even know what you own. You ain't me, but that shit ain't wrong. You ain't me, little baby, that ain't wrong, yeah. You ain't me, little baby, that ain't wrong, yeah. Going crazy, vision that's what it is, what it is, To buy, to buy, to buy, love. Smoking on drugs, got a nigga I love. Don't say this you ain't one of my bro. Coding crazy, what it is, 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 what
Still don't fuck that nigga I love Still don't say you ain't with my bro I don't really know no Rich and Miri songs to like <laughs> do this, but yeah. That is gonna be it. I appreciate y'all watching the video. You feel me for making it to this point? And just keep curating, man. Keep staying motivated. Keep doing your thing because it all does get you somewhere. And it's good to just have something to, you know, be able to get your thoughts and emotions out through. So cherish what you're doing cherish what you're creating man. you're you're on the way to something good bro just you just gotta keep going man but look man i'm gonna see y'all on your homepage soon look through thick and thin we gonna keep on pushing and i'm gonna see y'all in the next cook up bro so see y'all in the next video bro peace